Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am going to be using some products from the latest released from Cottage Cuts called Baseball and Golf and I'm going to make a Joyfold card. Now I've made this style of card before, I just never knew the name of it until my friend Kim Creates who is on Instagram. I'll leave a link to her um, Instagram page in the description box below. And, uh, she, she told me what the n actual name is of this card. So I'm going to start off by first assembling, um, the various pieces that I'll be using. So we've got a baseball cap here and there's another die set with a lot of different sentiments that you can add to your cap or use separately on their own as well. I think they're all really fantastic. And so I've assembled my hat and I am going to create a golf theme card, but I'm still using some of the baseball uh, items in this collection. This here is a, um, I guess it's one of the holes you know, on a golf course and it's got the little flag as well. And I've die cut that twice, once out of black where I kept the little oval that falls out and then I die cut it a second time out of a sandy color, uh, solid color cardstock. Here we have a golf cart and this actually does come with the, a little golf bag and golf clubs. They're all individual. So you can, you'll have three individual golf clubs and the golf bag as separate die cuts. So you can add that to the back of your golf cart if you want. I don't actually use them on this card, um, partially because I kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah, I was so um, focused on creating the cart itself, which I thought was super cute. So again, I've die cut the main portion of the cart twice, once out of black and a second time out of just a light creamy yellow color that's going to match and coordinate really well with the pattern papers that I'll be using on the rest of the card. And it'll also, um, by layering it up, it'll give it a little bit more dimension as well, but certainly you don't have to use um, two layers if you don't want. So this is going to be an A2, uh, USA two size card. So it'll fold down to four and a quarter high by five and a half inches wide. This first piece here, you want to cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half. And along the eight and a half inch edge, you want to score at three inches. That's going to be our card base and part of the front, um, uh, of the card. This uh, second, the second piece that you'll need to cut will be eight inches wide by two and three quarters inches high. And you want to score that directly in half at four inches. For the mats and layers, uh, this we're looking at is the inside of the card. And I decided I want my um, colored cardstock and pattern paper to go all the way to the edge. So that solid forest green color that's cut to four and a quarter high by just shy of five and a half inches wide. And the reason why it's just shy of five and a half is because you don't want to have your um, paper cross over that fold. And in order for the card to fold down nicely, you want to just butt up right against that fold and um so you want to cut it to maybe um you can cut it to five and a half and then maybe just trim off a sliver maybe about a sixteenth of an inch is what i normally do and then on the um little flap that folds over the front that's three inches wide by four and a quarter high and so on the front and on the back of that i've lined it with pattern paper that's cut to pretty much that exact size. I'm not leaving any bit of uh, the card base, uh, the white card base showing. And both of my card bases are cut from 120 pound heavyweight cardstock. Although with so much pattern paper lining this, I think you could probably get away with maybe 80 pound because at the end of the day, I'll end up having um, a lot of pattern paper, some of these panels will have pattern paper on the front and the back. So all of those extra layers will, will help for 
make the card feel really substantial and sturdy. So this little panel here, we're looking at again the inside and I've lined it again edge to edge with solid color cardstock. So part half of it will be this brown color, the other half is a cream color. And the um this p this panel here, this is the back of um that brown section. This is what will get glued down to the inside of your card. And I'm just eyeballing trying to keep um a uh, consistent uh, margin around all four edges. And so you can see when this gets folded down, you'll see a portion of the inside of your card, but a portion of it will also be hidden or covered by that front flap. And so it gives you this really interesting design. And on the front of that smaller um, fold out piece, I did want to leave a little bit of a white border. That way it stands out a little bit better against the solid color and the pattern papers that I have behind it. And so here are some additional um, die cuts from the baseball and golf collection. This is um, a golf ball that I've cut out three times actually. Once um, this one here has been cut from 120 pounds, so it sort of matches the thickness of the card base. And what I did was I lined it up where I wanted to put it, and then I traced that corner so that I can cut it out. This piece here, I am sandwiching in between uh, two other layers of the golf ball, and that way it um, looks finished from the front and from the back when you open the card. But it also, um, it's not going to match 100% the thickness of um, the cardstock that we have on this panel here, but it will get close. And that was the purpose of having that um, partially cut golf uh, ball. That way it sort of tries to match or bring the thickness a little bit closer to our flap there. And it um, ends up with a nice uh, finished look on the inside and the outside. And so this uh, silhouette of a golfer sort of, um, I don't know if he's, I guess this is at the end of his swing. So after he's um, taken a swing at the golf ball. And that's um, the cool thing about this collection is you get a silhouette of a golfer and you also get a silhouette of um, baseball players as well so so really fun if you have sports fans that um, that you need to create cards for this is a fantastic collection for that what I did here was I took <laughs> I took the baseball from the um, this is just a partial die cut of the baseball bat from the baseball player silhouette and I cut just the bat out of that and just tapered the ends of it a little bit um, just to trim that off and I'm using these baseballs to indicate some motion as if the golf um, player just finished his swing and the golf ball is sort of coming towards us. So it's an, it's nice and suggestive of motion. And so if you could hand cut these pieces if you wanted, um, but I thought the baseball bat actually worked out kind of well because it's already sort of tapered on one end and I just cut it, um, made that taper even more severe so that it came to a, a little bit more of a point. And that just sort of, um, gives, gives the sense of motion. And it helps to, it helps to kind of tell the story a little bit better instead of just having the golf ball kind of just hang out <laughs> in that upper left hand corner. It makes it seem a little bit as if it's actually coming from where um, the golf player hit it off the ground. So that's going to be the front. And what I love about these Joy Fold cards is that there's so much opportunity to hide, um, you know, different little scenes. And so here I am placing, so to 
kind of finish telling the story, the golf player has just hit the ball. You open up that front first flap and then you see sort of that, um, the, the hole and, and the little flag where the golf ball is headed. And then here on the back of that, uh, smaller panel, I'll add my little baseball cap and the, the detail on this cap is fantastic because you actually see all the little stitch lines and it's really, it's really awesome. Um, and it's a really nice size cap as well. So I just used my little dotty tape runner to, um, get some tape all the way around those curved edges. And then I used my all purpose, um, cloud glue to, uh, fill in the center there. And so the, um, last or not the last bit, but on the main panel here is where I want to put my sentiment, which is a, um, cottage, it's an older cottage cuts sentiment die. This one does come with a shadow, but I already have enough contrast between the dark brown of this panel and the white cardstock that I've cut. And what I did was give myself a couple of pencil marks so that I know where that sort of um kind of uh putting green area is so that my sentiment stays completely hidden that way as you're opening these different flaps you're revealing more and more of the scene and sentiment and uh images and i did the same thing uh right above the um birthday sentiment so that i can make sure where i'm placing the word happy it's going to stay hidden behind um, that leftmost panel there. Then I've got my golf cart, which I want to add to the, the inside of my cart as well. And I didn't like how, because I've used a pattern paper that doesn't really suggest a scene, I didn't like how the cart was see-through um, and that you could see that pattern right through it. I think that's fantastic for when you're actually creating a scene with, you know, the sky and some landscape, but, um, but that's why I decided since I don't have that scene created, I want it to back the cart with some light blue paper so that it's a little bit, it looks a little bit, um, I think it makes a little bit more sense <laughs> when you place it on top of the pattern paper. And since I have multiple layers of cardstock going on here, I'm going to use my uh, 3D Kalal glue on the wheels because they they are on top of two, I think, three layers of cardstock. So that extra little glue gel is just nice when I, that way I don't have to cut down any foam and I can just push that down to where it feels level with the rest of the um, die cut image. So here's a final look at my golf uh joy fold card. Really love this style fold, especially when you have a lot of images that you want to um, add to your card and it still folds down to a really nice small size because um, at the end of the day, it's still USA 2 in size. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you want to catch new videos as I post them, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that notification bell. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.